Welcome back to Banish a Hair Party Anime Review Episode 16. He's thinking, wait, oh, it's been a week since the last one. Like, last year Sundays. I just had to get to this today. So, in the case of this one, we are viewing the 21st episode of the series, <clears throat> which is called All Blessings and Faith, which steps from the last two chapters of the book and like about 50% of the epilogue. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, in this episode, well, briefly, we see Red, Ruti, and Rit in their vacation town, and then they're eating some curry bread, and then they see some pegasi in the sky, and then we don't see them again the rest of the episode. Like, what happened? Was there a cut here? Not really, no. Uh, this is how the book presents it. Then pretty much we cut to Van killing a bunch of hill, hill giants. Just because they attack them. No, seriously. Because they're because he because the way he thinks of it is like, oh, because they're monsters and they're not attacking people, let's just kill them anyways. Showing the fact that he is a terrible hero. Yep. Even Tessia basically points that he man, man is a maniac. And then we have like the very, and then we have right after this where Van goes to kill more monsters. The Colonel's asleep, so Tessia and the door decide to have a private conversation, and also imply Albert may have a thing for. Well, actually, more like the door has got a thing for Albert. Very interesting conversation, and then basically she walks up, like, yeah, interesting conversation. Walks up, and then she basically, and of course she has to say, someone's in love. <laughs> yep. And then we see. The town's old time parent party for Van. No, seriously. Because he's a hero visiting, parent party for him. And then he gets there. He's like, nah, I want your food. I don't want food from heretics. And like, really? That's a bit rude. And everybody's not happy with him saying this. And he thinks they're heretics because he thinks they're lazy. Because, because his life's too peaceful, it's like there's no action, so he wants to murder them all. There's also a thing where he gets there. He apparently got his hands on the Fairy King's shield. Which involves brainwashing. Yes, the door tries to warm out this, but his fairy with him decides to ignore it. Yep, and he's had to go freaking nuts. He's about, looks like he's about to massacre the town. And then all of a sudden, we have, like... Like, and who attacks it first? Why Elandra, of course. He's, he's like, who are y'all? I'm just a woman in, in, in Zeltan. He attacks him, and, and then, of course, uh, Duran, he attacks him, too. And then and salt dragons show up because they, he that the Fairy King's shield is actually a gift to them from the late Demon King. They want it back. He's like, nah, this is my shield. I'm going to keep it. And of course, Elijah tries again to stop because he's hacking like a people get rational. But no, he wants to continue to be rational. He gets his butt handed him several times. He also apparently has the ability to reverse the injuries on, onto the person who hit him. And points out, yeah, that's the call of villain. Excuse me. And then all hope is lost. And then all of a sudden, his sword is stopped by Red. Yes. His sword is stopped by Red, and the shields take away from him. Of course, he chases him. He has him follow him outside of town. He gives the shield back to the dragons, which they're very thankful for the fact that he gave it. Of course, they go away. Then he briefly fights Van. He's like, let me go, because he's had his sword in place. And then he's basically punched by Ruti, which they do change her look from the book, because in the book, she's back in her armor for some reason. In the anime, she's still wearing the outfit she's wearing since the start of the season. She punches him really hard, and he flies through the air and smashes on a rock. And then, uh, Dora, the fairy, Lavender, who's in love with him in the car, finally, he's just, like, blood everywhere. And it's like, huh. Oh, by the way, he also, he's, the reason why he's there, because he wants the airship. And, like, let's have a party for us, you can have the airship afterwards. Well, why not just eat? It's like, Nah. Yeah, and then of course he's healed, and that's the episode. 
quite interesting episode this is. Also, I love the fact that they kept Ruti, R- Ruti's line to him from the book, despite the fact that they did change her outfit from the book. Yep. They're like, so it's just like, you know, I remember, of course, they get away, and of course, like, despite the fact that you know one person at that party. Now, I'm sure the Cardinal, given the fact how much of it. By the way, the Cardinal does nothing while Van is going nuts on the people of Zoltan. He proceeds to light up a cigarette and just like, I don't care. Go ahead, do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, he basically is not doing his job properly. Yeah, he's one of those, what does describe him as a crooked colonel. Oh, uh, excuse me, colonel. Cardinal. Yes, he is crooked. He is somebody who, like, when Van got punched by Ruti, anybody watching this is like, yeah, he rightfully earned that punch. And he punched him so hard, like, or he bruising his cheek. Yeah, an absolute really good episode. Now, I don't know how much further we're going to go on this season, per se, because this episode that just aired was only the eighth episode. So I'm presuming that we have about four more to go. Four, maybe five left at most. Mm -hmm. Yep, and next week is going to be, next episode, which airs tomorrow, will be Take Out the Fairy in Love and the Greedy Cardinal. Yes, that'll be discussed hopefully tomorrow. But that's going to be pretty much that particular view. I did check, basically, someone hit a dislike, the dislike button on my Blue X's video. This matter of fact, I keep telling people, please don't hit the dislike button. So I'm going to keep doing it here. Please don't hit the dislike button. I don't like when people hit a dislike button. Also, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and like I said, do not hit the dislike button. Next up, the comment corner, and then next, it's on to Tales of Wedding Rings. Okay, next video. Bye.